good evening uh, my name is nikhila i'm a dental student uh, my information about islam is really uh, less uh, whatever i know is because of my friends my question is i've read this poster they say that music and dance is like uh, not accepted in islam why is that i mean you cannot say it's generally also you can you know listen to music or singing or dance or whatever or uh, you cannot just say like only for bharatnatyam or for any form of dance we have music in general music also we have you when you praise god when you show your emotions why is it said that music and dance is not allowed so it starts the question that why is it in islam that music and dance are prohibited first i'll come to music then i'll go to the dance as far as music is concerned a beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the musical instruments as a general rule they are prohibited except to give permission for the duff that is the one sided open drum called as duff or duffly besides that the prophet prohibited because if you analyze it takes a person away from the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa taala from the remembrance of almighty god that is the reason when we hear these you know film songs whether it be hindi it may be malayali or tamil or whatever it is you find that in these film songs most of the words that are mentioned they are far away from reality you know the hero tells the heroine mai tumhare liye chand tod ke leke aaunga mai tumhare liye sitare tod ke leke aaunga i'll get the moon for you i'll get the star for you we know it's not possible no man can get the the star or the moon for his lover but yet we keep on repeating because of the ambiance because of everything so because of this general rule is that the music does take a person away from allah subhanahu wa taala that is the reason a beloved prophet prohibited musical instruments except for duff or as generally with your voice for example when a person recites the quran if he recites the quran his voice is good that's permitted because that takes a person towards allah subhanahu wa taala the musical instruments along in the background do create a different ambiance otherwise singing per se it is muba optional as long as the words of the song they take you towards your creator allah subhanahu wa taala if the words of the song take you away from allah subhanahu wa taala even that type of song is prohibited now come to the second part why is dancing prohibited there is no verse in the quran or no hadith that i know of which says dancing per se is haram but normally because people dance to show to the other people you know we have dance performance on the stage where as you bharat natyam now you are doing bharat natyam on the stage and thousands are watching you so normally in terms of the hijab reason we wouldn't like to expose our ladies our mothers our sisters our daughters on the stage and thousands of people looking at them so any profession in which the body is used as a show as to entertain the people it is prohibited that is the reason dancing in public or dancing in parties where we have opposite sex mixing many a time the rules of dancing they conflict with the rule of the islamic sharia normally when you have a dance you have pairs male and female and most of these pairs that the girlfriend boyfriend and you dance in front of other people so because it breaks the system of islamic hijab that the reason per se it is prohibited because it goes again in the system of hijab so you have to realize that many a time when you dance you dance in public you go out for parties and you move around otherwise with you and your wife you can do what you want as long as it doesn't go against the sharia alone in closed doors husband and wife what they want to do as long as it doesn't go against the rules of the quran and sahih hadith there's no problem but because most of the time dancing exploits the body it includes singing dancing you go on the stage and other people are watching so it breaks the rules of sharia of the hijab and you can hear my video cassette women's rights in islam modernizing outdated which speaks in detail why do we muslims protect why do we love why do we revere our women for because we love our women that's the reason we protect them and we don't want to exhibit them that's the reason professions which involve singing in public or dancing or modeling these professions are prohibited for a lady hope that answers the question if bible matches a lot 
with the Quran, then who is the writer of the Bible? 